get your permission slip signed, get your toothbrush, get your swim trunks, and get a ski mask ready because we're going on a field trip tonight. We're going into the water. We're just gonna dive in the water. But not just this water or the water you're looking at, it's not the right one. Today in the kitchen, welcome everybody by the way, we are gonna take a trip south of the border of Canada. We are gonna go to Maine and we are gonna make ourselves something that I never thought in my entire lifetime I would be making on my counter at home, let alone out of plants. We're gonna be making a Maine lobster roll. If you are familiar with a Maine lobster roll or you're from New England uh, or even from Connecticut, which I believe they have a different type of lobster roll there. That type is served hot, I think with butter, but the main lobster roll is a New England style lobster roll, which is what we are gonna make, which is served cold in sort of a lobster salad with a bunch of other things on a bun with some lettuce and chips or whatever you want. And we are gonna do uh, just a very traditional main lobster roll. This is a food item that it's, it's like in this group of items that I never tried the real version of. Never in my life have I tried a lobster roll, real or fake. And today, we are gonna make a fake one, but it's gonna be dope. It's actually technically real because we are using an ingredient called lobster mushroom. It's very bizarre. My entire kitchen smells like seafood right now, and I can't quite understand how that's possible because there is no seafood in my kitchen. So I would just encourage you to buckle up, put on your swim trunks, hold your toothbrush, you never know when you're gonna need it, and your ski mask as well, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna get rolling. There is butter on the cutting board. This is a lobster mushroom. It is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in the kitchen. It is a mushroom or technically a fungus that feeds off of mushrooms that looks like a lobster. Like it actually looks like a lobster. Same coloring. Weirdly, like some, some of the shapes look the same, like from the back. It also smells really strongly of seafood. This is kind of playing tricks on me right now, I'm not gonna lie. But this is the most important ingredient you're going to need. Obviously here, we're gonna make the lobster roll, so this is gonna serve as our lobster. So I am basing my version of this recipe off of two recipes that I've seen done of this on the internet. One of a channel called Sauce Stash. He made a really great video on this exact thing. He was the first person I've seen use this product to make the vegan lobster roll. Um, and so immediately I was like, how do I find that? And he linked to this website where you can order it from. I can link it as well. It's not cheap. It's like definitely the most expensive mushroom I've ever bought. And I'm gonna mix that recipe sort of with hot for food, Lauren's recipe. Uh, she recently did one, but I think she was using oyster mushrooms, which I'm not even sure if they're different at all. We are gonna fuse those two together and add the power of the Aries kitchen, and we're gonna make our own version of this. So uh, step number one, get the lobster mushroom however you can. Even if you gotta dive into the water and pull it off of whatever barnacle or I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know what seafood is. I don't know how to, whatever. I have this, it smells like seafood. Let's use it to make a lobster roll, I guess. I don't know. If you're from New England, this one's for you. So before I started this video, I actually spent like 10 minutes uh, with a toothbrush scrubbing these mushrooms uh, of dirt because they came with some dirt packed on them. Um, and I think the best way to clean them was with a toothbrush. So I did my best in trying to clean them. We're also gonna be using New Cascadia bread, which is my favorite brand of gluten-free bread. They have the hoagie rolls, which is gonna serve as sort of the bun. Automatically know what ingredients you're gonna need. I'm not gonna tell you until I'm using it. So just know, and then we'll get started. So I don't know exactly how much of this I have. It feels like a significant amount, but I'm gonna try to just sort of break them up into little pieces, um, similar size of what you would get in this roll traditionally, which again, I don't know what that is. So it looks just like I think lobster looks and it smells very seafoody. So to be honest with you guys, if you know Jenna at all, you know that she might not taste this one. I'm gonna use my Aries knife to, I'm just gonna be chopping off some of the ends of the stems because those are probably the dirtiest parts of this mushroom. So once we're done piecing these up, we are gonna saute it in some Miyoko's butter and give it that real New England flavor. You know what I mean? Mushrooms are truly like an amazing thing. Like this is just tripping me out. I mean, this looks, like when I break this piece of mushroom, the inside looks like lobster meat. Like what? Also, you might be thinking, hey, what a cool life hack to get a lobster that isn't really expensive and make it yourself. No, this is expensive. 
unfortunately. Here's our pile of not lobster. part about <laughs> this recipe right now for me is like I have no clue what I'm going for here like in terms of consistency taste I'm just kind of winging this my main goal is to make a main lobster roll and then act like I don't know nobody ha, 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 ha. I'm actually gonna like test a tiny little piece here okay that tastes just like seafood it's definitely not too hard to bite into so I think I might be done here cut the heat and let it just chill. Cause actually we do need to chill this cause it's gonna be a cold version of the lobster roll. Let's do this. We're gonna take all of the lobster mushroom, place it into a bowl and we are gonna let this chill now. Oh, we are impatient and waiting and checking the fridge every 30 seconds. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Actually, I'm gonna use my special powers and it will be cold. And it's chilled. That was crazy. Did you see that? So. This has been chilling in the fridge for a little bit and it's nice and cool now, it's not hot. First, we are gonna get this beautiful roll uh, that honestly looks <laughs> fucking Pinterest right now, jeez. And we are just gonna cut it without our bread knife because we have one knife that does everything and that is our Aries kitchen knife. And we are gonna take our trusty gold spoon that you guys have been asking about. Um, and we are gonna just put a little bit of vegan butter on the inside here gonna try to coat the surface. You always want your roll to have a little bit of butter on the inside, unless you're not that type of person, which that's fine too, like whatever. We don't have to yell about it. These walls are kind of thin. We should keep it down so the neighbors don't come over again. They aren't the quietest neighbors themselves. So we are gonna take this and we are just gonna to quickly toast it. Very simple, put it in the toaster. Now we are gonna chop up some of our other ingredients. We have fresh dill, chives, and a heart of palm. And then we'll get moving with mixing this together and trying it, cause I'm like actually so excited to test this out. Okay, it is the moment of truth. We are going to put our lobster salad made of mushrooms, y'all. What in the world? We're gonna place it on our beautiful roll right here. We got a little bit of lettuce, which we're gonna just kind of lay right there. I honestly can't even hide it. I'm giddy right now. I cannot wait to try this. We did it. This is it. I can't really believe it, honestly, but we did it. We made a lobster roll with mushrooms and it's not a substitute that I'm feeling iffy about. This is probably the most spot on meat substitute I've ever used in any recipe. We made a lobster roll out of a mushroom. Well, moment of truth, everybody. I'm just gonna do it. What? What even are you? How is this something that I just made? This tastes so good. 
What? I'm asking you a question. What? How is that real? This might be my favorite thing I've ever made. This is so insanely good. Hello? Can someone explain this? Like I said, I've never had a lobster roll, but this lives up and exceeds any expectation I had for what that tasted like in the past, in the present. This is just so good. It's got like this really, really nice tang to it. The flavors are just insane. And the mushroom weirdly holds like a ton of flavor. Like it's buttery. It's got like the flavor of the aioli or sauce with the chives. I mean, it like, it really holds flavor. It's not just like the texture thing. It's like delicious. I'm getting my mind blown right now. Whatever I paid for this mushroom, it was worth it. Dude, it's just like, it expanded my mind further than I was ready for. It's so good. I'm gonna go get Jenna, hold on. Wait, it smells like lobster in here. <laughs> so you don't have to try it if you don't want. And if you just, if you just wanna look at it, that's fine. Cause I know Jenna has a real aversion to seafood even before she was vegan. It's like the one thing that she just gets sick from. So if you don't wanna try this, it's okay. But it is insanely good. I don't think I've ever had a lobster roll either. I think I've barely even tried lobster, period. I'm a little scared. Should I try? Maybe a little bit. Maybe it's a good thing for people to see if, if you're like, you have an extreme aversion to seafood like yep. I do. Mm -hmm. It's mushroom, it's mushroom, it's mushroom. It's mushroom. Yeah, I mean, I can eat it, but it's like, but yeah, it's like when you go to a restaurant and there's like an imitation crab cake or something that's like mint, I can't. You know, it would never be my first choice. I mean, it's very impressive and I like sandwiches <laughs> and that bread is really good and I want to like it. How about a chip? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I think it's beautiful and if you like lobster, like that's probably incredible. Yeah, this is for the people who, who don't eat like seafood anymore, who really miss it. The mushroom that I bought online, it's like so weird. You buy it online, it comes in this like container. It's the dry ice holding it together. It's expensive and you're like, what even is this? And you cook with it and it absorbs flavor and the texture is like really, really close yeah, to what cool. I think it's lobster like, would be. It's a hearty texture, but I imagine like people that have an aversion to meat wouldn't like the meat products that are like meat. True, true, true. I have an aversion to seafood. It's beautiful and like i'm so happy for you but like it's not for me do you want to see me eat some yeah what do you you like that it might be my favorite thing i've ever made i mean that bread is something else too you never get something that's like no sandwich shape shouts out dude new cascadia makes incredible gluten-free bread honestly i got nothing more to say i just need to i hope i haven't offended the chef no, you haven't, because if you liked it, then I would be annoyed because I only made one. We did it to him. I did the chips to him. Please, Papa. Please, Papa. Can I please have one single chip, Papa? Well, thank you for joining me, even though it's a seafood episode. Can I have that bread with, like, other sandwich stuff on it? Yes, I will make you a sandwich with this bread right now. Well, shouts out to Sauce Stash for like that video that honestly inspired it and Hot For Food for doing the video as well. Like if you guys want my version of the recipe, you can sort of follow along with what I did, but I'm gonna link both of their videos as well as where to buy the mushroom and the bread. I want you guys to get the full experience if you're gonna do this. I think you should do it right. Mm. This is gonna be, as Binging with, with Babish would say, member of the Clean Plate Club. Oh my fucking God. I'm proud of you though. If you in any way, shape or form enjoy seafood or lobster rolls, I am ordering you to make this. Oh. It is an Aries kitchen order. Make it, do it. Thank you guys for joining me on this honestly spiritual journey. This was nothing short of spiritual. I'm just like, I'm so excited about it. Hopefully you get a chance to make this recipe because this is one that is absolutely worth it. It's not even that hard of a recipe. It's just the ingredients are kind of not the easiest to get, but we did it to them. Oh yes, we're ready to order. Hi, yes, I'll have the, um, the lobster roll. Hold the lobster. I said, hold the lobster. I said, hold the freaking lobster. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm gonna go eat this.